What's going on my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ox Garfe and today I'm gonna to take you along for a what I eat in a day. It's gonna include breakfast, lunch, and another meal that comes right after lunch. I'm gonna be putting this video before dinner so there won't be a dinner included, but you will still get three meals. So let's get right into it. The first thing I got for you guys is an immune boosting smoothie. So let's get right into that and I'm gonna show you everything that I put in it. Uh, I've been making this pretty recently and I love it. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, and here is the second meal. As you can see, we got a nice little stir fry. There's not a lot of calories right here, so I'm gonna put this down real quick and then we'll be making another meal right after this. But if you guys wanna know how to make this, I did post a recipe that I'm gonna put in the top right corner for an easy vegan stir fry. It's basically the same thing, just with some swapped veggies. But yeah, super delicious, super healthy, and very quick and easy to make. So I'm gonna eat this up and then we'll get right into the next meal. All right, guys, so this is gonna be my second meal. Probably make something else after this. this I keep saying I'm gonna eat, eat more, but this is only 290 calories. And I just noticed that it's 1,510 milligrams of sodium, so I'm definitely not gonna be adding the full sauce packet that I'm gonna put right here so you guys can see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be adding that whole thing, I'll probably do half of it. But yeah, I'm excited to try these out. They're made in Taiwan, pretty clean ingredients. For the noodles, we got wheat flour, salt, and water. And then the sauce has soy sauce, water, sugar, white sesame oil, and yeah, that's about it. So, let's cook these up and see how they taste. All right, so as you guys can see, I added some kale to the noodles to make them a little bit healthier. There are 10 grams of protein in the package itself, which is quite a bit of protein for some wheat noodles. And then I added about 60% of that sauce packet and I already tried it a little bit and it's, it's pretty salty. So let's take another bite for the camera. They're all lumped together here, but we got some kale in there. Basically it tastes like ramen, just a little less watery. It tells you to strain all the water out since these are like some Taiwanese noodles. It's the style. Uh, you're not supposed to serve them with a bunch of water, I think, based on the instructions. So all in all, they were pretty bomb. I actually like how they taste and you don't have to add the whole sauce packet. They already taste salty enough with just about half of it, a little over half. But let me show you guys actually what else I got from the store. Got some right here. Check this out. These were on sale. So I got these cliff bars. We got the white chocolate macadamia, crunchy peanut butter. And then this one, I got two of these. I think I've had them before, the blueberry crisp. I got two of them because I'm pretty sure these were really, really good. And then this basically tastes like a brownie. It's the Think Thin plant-based sea salt almond chocolate. Got two of these guys right here. Super, super good. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll see you guys for the next little meal that I have. I mean, with this and the rice, it was probably only like 600 calories total. So it's not even that much. And all I've had is these two things and then the smoothie. So I need to get some more calories in because it's already 440. So I didn't have enough time to make the final meal, so I'm gonna have that probably while you guys are watching this video, so no time to put it in there, but instead I'm gonna have this Blueberry Crisp Cliff Bar right here, give a little taste test for you guys. I do think I've had this before, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure. That's what it looks like. Got some blueberries in there. Granola made with organic rolled oats. Definitely had this before, and it's definitely really good. Peanut Butter Crunch used to be my favorite, but I think Blueberry Crisp is gonna take the take the cake on this one well 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 got a new favorite bar in town so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought I know this was like a lazy what I eat in a day it wasn't anything crazy but I didn't want it to be a 10 minute long what I eat in a day video like the usual ones are I just wanted to be a quick one show you guys what I eat, especially on a day where I'm not planning or cooking a bunch of different meals. The only thing that I did do, or the only thing that I put a good amount of time into was that smoothie. So I hope you guys enjoyed that immune boosting smoothie as much as I do. That zinc in there is crucial, especially right now in the times that we are 
dealing with. Zinc is very good to help your body fight infections and all that other good stuff. And B12 is always good as well. And that Lion's Mane Extract. So I'm not sure of the full benefits of the Lion's Mane Extract, but the main reason I got it is because of the cognitive brain benefits. So it's really good for the brain. If you guys don't know, look it up, Lion's Mane Extract. I have a really good brand as well. So I got them on Amazon. Anyone can get it. It's Host Defense, I believe is the brand, if you guys want to check them out. But I'm rambling a little bit too much right now. So I will see you guys on Wednesday when my next video drops. Peace.